All right, in this video, we're gonna kind of do some advanced uh, image talk here. Now, uh, this image, you'll notice this guitar right here kind of looks small, and, and when it over overall on the entire page, it kind of looks small, doesn't it? Well, uh, there's some things that you can do to uh, make sure your web pages uh, move quickly. Now, this image appears small, but just because it appears small doesn't mean that image is small. Okay, let me let me give you an example of what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to um, click my cursor right here, and I'm gonna insert an image, and I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna upload, and choose a file, and right here is my image. Now, uh, when I insert this. Now, the thing I want you to notice is the dimensions of this image is 3,500 by 2,500. This is a huge image. Now, when I click open and I upload this file, it's going to take a while and I'm going to use my description. Oops, there. Uh, guitar on stage. Now, here's the thing you'll notice down here. It's it's just a huge file. Now, if I resize this to something more manageable, let's say 500 pixels wide, and align it to the right. Now, when I save that image, now, now save and display, that image looks more uh, reasonably sized, right? That's 500 pixels wide compared to the original 3,500 it was. Now, but here's the thing. That image only appears small. It's not actually small. I, the actual 3,500 bit wide or pixel wide picture is what this really is. It's just displaying much smaller. And what that means is the image is going to slow down this page from um, loading quickly because that page has to load that really large picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it and I'm going to just show you, we're going to open the image in a image viewer. In this case, I happen to be a Mac, so I'm using preview. Um, so oftentimes it's best if you would just resize the actual photo itself before uploading to Moodle. You don't have to do this. This is just going to be a way to optimize your web pages so that they um, display really quickly for your students. So I'm going to, I'm in, got my photo, I'm under tools, I'm going to go to adjust size, and right here is where I'm going to adjust it to something that seems a little bit more um, reasonably sized. So I'm going to arrange it to be 600 pixels wide. That looks really small here, but it's not. Uh, I'm going to close it. Now, when I bring it into my web page, ah, it's much quicker. It loaded much quicker. I'm going to click once on it. I'm going to open up that image and I'm going to make guitar on stage, a nice description for my visually impaired students. Now you'll notice the original size is 600 by 439. That's a much more reasonable uh, size for displaying on a page. But I'm going to continue and I'm going to say, oh, well, but let's say now I want to change the size here and make it to the right. Now the thing is, um, this image, I kind of customized it. I changed the size a little bit down to 300. But the point is, this is originally now, it used to be a 3,500 pixel wide picture. It's now actually a 600 wide, uh, pixel wide photo. But then because I clicked on it and adjusted the size to 350, I kind of made it even smaller. So that's your, your advanced ninja moves for photos, that sometimes it might be useful for you to adjust the size of the photo outside of Moodle before uploading it into Moodle and then con continuing to customize it to make it fit on your page better.